Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, I want to talk about the dupe system. What do you do with all of the duplicate heroes? The finest blood for the most untainted soul. So this is something that I should have made an earlier video on, but I'm going to try my best to roll out some more very early beginner guide content as well. There's constantly new players joining the game every day, and that's going to be the case for a long time. So it's never too late to do those day one guides to help out new players. So I'm going to try my best to continue to do that sort of content as well as start to bring some later game content as I progress or maybe even have some sort of a test server in the future. So we'll see there, but I'm going to try my best to constantly give a variety of content. So today, duplicates is the discussion, right? So of course you're going to get duplicates when you summon. Now, the very first thing you're going to notice, of course, is all the commons and uncommons. Of course, well, for sake of this game, at least there's nothing to my knowledge of any reason to actually use a common or an uncommon or advanced, whatever the hell they call them, uh, the green. I think they call them advanced, but yeah, for the raid players, you know what I mean. Um, but some of them do have value for the sake of a fusion. And you're going to notice that when you try to upgrade and crunch the heroes and you're going to see a little blue sign, which I'm going to show you what I mean afterward. When you go to start six starring heroes, you're going to need all of these fodder. So commons and uncommons or commons and advanced, sorry, the um, white and the green heroes are all going to be used for fodder. So you'll see here the ones that are for the fusions have a blue sign by them when you go to level them up. So you might not want to do that. But this is what you're going to be doing with all of your commons and uncommons. Dupes or no dupes, that's up to, it doesn't really matter. That's just what you're going to do with those heroes. Now, you, I can take a note about the fusions when it has to do with those heroes as well. If you want to make a bunch of copies of Theoen or Lightlock, they're both great heroes. I mean, Livian's pretty good too. Um, you can save multiple copies of them to do multiple fusions. So keep that in mind for the future. But honestly, early on, like, I found no reason to start really worrying about my fusions, unless I really got unlucky with a heal- no healers too, then I might have fused Lightlock. But I don't think you really need to save dupes of these guys, because you're going to get them so easily by summoning, and so easily in the market. So that's the kind of the deal for the low-level dupes, but- and you can save dupes to do duplicate fusions of the epics, but that's up to you. Now, rares! What about the duplicates of rares? So there are some pretty good rares worth keeping. Like Decimus is an interesting one, for example. Um, I did lock some. Cuke here has some really cool rolls. But when it comes to duplicates of him, you can't awaken some of these rares. So that's what happens with dupes in this game, is you awaken, right? So some you can, some you can't. Like, okay, Voltus. If you get really unlucky with mages, you can certainly take Voltus to 5 star, level 50, and even awaken him for the little bit of extra stats, although they're honestly not that impressive, so you might be better off using the duplicates for something else. But if you are going to go all in on Voltus, a little extra stats isn't going to hurt. But again, he's a lower, all the rares for the most part are going to be the lower tier options with quirky exceptions to the rule like cute <laughs> but not all the rares can have awakenings so there's no reason to keep the duplicates of your favorite rares unless you do plan on awakening them or saving extras for the fusion um and yes always save one of the lords at least early on until you have the higher level of a lord as well and another note with the rare heroes dupes or no dupes is what you do with the ones you don't need right so this is what you do with the ones you don't need the one star and two star white and green heroes, those get used for fodder with the quick rank up and just the rank ups in general to be able to make your other characters five stars. These you can actually sell for diamonds. 
for real it's wonderful i absolutely love this system it's so cool um but so if you do a bunch of summoning and you're full on space go sell all your darn rares that you don't need boom 540 diamonds right there don't feel guilty about it just do it now if you are someone who maybe is um I want to say maybe if you're spending even more so and you keep getting heroes that you really want a six star and you don't have the resources to do it and you keep running out of one stars and two stars to make chick butter with you can definitely consider using your rares for for um star ups here but i don't think that's the best choice overall honestly it just it's gonna take a while i think to get to that point personally and the diamonds, you can, of course, use those diamonds to then summon again. Or once you're to the point like me, I'm going to stop using my diamonds for summoning unless I get big batches through the content creator program. But for the most part, my diamonds are going to go toward potions now. And I know this is not recommended early on, but you can do this once you get to the point where you have a ton of amazing characters to work on. I need to grind them up i need to do promotions i need to do xp runs i need to get gold even oh my goodness gold we actually have to farm the gold um <laughs> and then we have events going on for gear and everything it's it's a lot so i'm at the point where i stopped using my diamonds for summons for the most part and i'm using them for stamina now but that's another wonderful way to turn your rares into another resource so i love that the game provides a lot of options for how to handle your duplicates but all right next epics so if you get duplicates of epics i really do think it's the best advice to actually use them to awaken even if they're not a hero you're working on look at all this four three three one 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 all these head dupes um and let me show you with him here when you awaken a hero you actually end up getting a four star psychic power in return the psychic powers are like the equivalent of a raid chicken so you'll get a four star epic chicken that can be used for six starring or five starring or six starring another hero so you do get something in return so that's kind of the deal with those and it is of good value to do so because number one you're going to want as much fodder for increasing your heroes to five star and six star as possible and number two you never know when someone could be buffed changed or new content could come out and all of a sudden this hero that's sitting here at three star awakening from the duplicates becomes amazing for specific content you never know so it's definitely worth it plus you're getting at least fodder along the way now the other option is you can sell them of course so i'm not going to actually do that but let me go here so you can sell heroes keep that in mind sell um i guess i can unlock someone to show you the example i'm not really going to sell so you can see here when you sell an epic you see the coins here epic awakening tokens now i would not do any selling of an epic the purple heroes until you have fully awakened someone once you're rolling in dupes and you have an a5 whoever then start selling them and then you can start using that currency in the awakening shop but i do want to take a quick note when it comes to duplicates of the fusion heroes now let me show you again who i mean here we're talking for Komo well sorry abomination vortex or komodo or um daemon or harpoon you can only fuse abomination once so you don't really need dupes of those heroes for future fusions because you can only make him once but like i love using vortex but because i know i'm gonna want to do abomination fusion whenever i can i did not awaken vortex with the duplicate i did decide to save one copy for now because you know what you could just use them and make your vortex better because the vortex is top tier and all but at the end of the day you're either a you're gonna pull more and you can just awaken them anyway or you're, the opposite luck could happen for you what if you're ready to do the abomination fusion and you're sitting there with your awakened vortex with his dupes and that's the one you're waiting on pulling a copy for and then you're sitting there waiting and sacrificing getting a really great legendary hero because you crunched your duplicates already 
I don't know. I just don't want to gamble that personally. So I'm saving one copy of Vortex aside for sake of the future fusion. Now, dupe legendaries. <laughs> or just legendaries in general. Same thing. Just awaken them. Don't sell them for the currency, guys. Don't do it. Shamir sucks. I'm going to sell him. Oh, I can't even because he's got gear on. Same thing, you'll get the resource obtained for sake of the Awakening Shop, which I'm going to go into in a moment. But I strongly suggest don't do it, no matter how bad a Legendary seems. Again, you never know when they're, they're buff them or change them or change content or add new content where they become relevant or necessary. Or just, yeah, like depending on faction-based stuff or class-based stuff, you might end up finding... A unique use for them depending on what they do in the future we don't know this is the kind of game that's going to go on for years successfully i really think so so you might really have a role for them and regret selling them in the future awakening is the same here uh, just luckily with legendaries you get better better improvements right some of them are pretty amazing so keep that in mind as well now we have to talk the shop this is the duplicate shop so like I said, when you have five Awakenings into an epic hero, okay, fine. That's when you start selling that hero, if you get even more duplicates, and you start getting these tokens. Now, unfortunately, the tokens kind of suck. Um, the purple is just not great value. The XP bonus is nice, it's cheap, you can do that once, but then what? Like, okay, and this is great, but... <sighs> The value for like the soul stones is like four epics to get one specific soul stone. Eh, might not be worth it, honestly. Hoping they revamp the shop in the future, but at least you can get a legendary crystal out of it. But that's kind of expensive, honestly. 800? You mean we have to sell eight epics to get one legendary crystal for a skill? Even that feels too expensive, honestly. So it's not the best shop for the rest of those dupes, but you can always hold on to it in the future in case... They revamp the shop and at least you'll have the coins on hand. Or yeah, take advantage of XP bonuses, which are cheap to purchase. And you can always blast out a crap ton of stamina when you stock some up when you can accept this bonus. So legendary, on the other hand, this is actually one of those reasons that people ask what to do with dupe legendaries or with bad legendaries is these ancient summoning crystals. The ancient summoning crystals... They are exciting and they have amazing potential, but they also have a very disappointing potential. Um, if you sacrifice some legendaries or one legendary and you get a summoning crystal, you can pull a rare. <laughs> like, keep in mind that this is not a guaranteed anything. And just because it's fancier than the legendary divine summoning, doesn't mean it's actually going to give you a better result. So this could be a complete waste of sacrificing a legendary that you might need later down the road. So personally, I say do not sacrifice legendaries or dupe legendaries for anything until you have them awaken five as well if you're a total kraken or once you've played the game for a really long time. So that kind of covers the basics of once you get duplicates, I think. But I do want to point out a couple more things. So you might have seen me click this and be like, wait, mine looks different. So when you very first start playing, you don't have this quick star up option. It looks a little bit different and you manually have to do each one. So if you're like, wait, why does mine look different? It's just because you're new. Just keep pushing your campaign and you'll unlock this feature in hard campaign mode. So that's part of this as well. And I do want to pay uh, close attention here to something that is the equivalent of duplicates. So... A duplicate hero also has the equivalent in this material known as, come on, pop up. Is it going to pop up? Brat. Of course, it doesn't pop up with the tooltip of what it is. But these soul stones here are an equivalent of a dupe hero. Don't use these early on uh, if you don't have dupes of the heroes you like best until you 100% know there's someone worth investing in. And for the sake of these, especially early on, until you've really got a ton of them somehow, if you got crazy lucky, which is unlikely, but you get these free with doing Tide. And you want to save them for like a Lord. At the end of the day, Lords are harder to pull. And you want to save them for someone amazing like Wrath, 
Wrath here is so good, and his Awaken 5 is amazing. It self heals. His Awaken 3 is great. His Awaken 1 is great. He is worthy of using these special stones on as a duplicate equivalent because it's less likely that you're going to get a duplicate of him, for example, because he is a lord and has a lower drop rate. But I do want to hold some caution here. So when it comes to Wrath, you might be so excited that we got him that 14 day login reward. He's free. And oh my gosh, I have a whole bunch of these from doing Tide. Perfect. Let's max out Wrath. Wait, <laughs> I say put him to Awaken 3 at most. Awaken 1, 100%. Awaken 2, okay. Awaken 3, solid. Just hope you don't pull too many dupes until we have the daily login where you're going to get another one. So luckily here between this day 31, day 60, we're going to get another soul stone for Wrath, which is amazing because that's another duplicate of him. So I personally took my Wrath to Awaken 3 with the equivalent of the dupes with the soul stones and that are universal for any epic. And I'm going to wait until this day before I do A4 and A5 because this will be my A5. But what if I pull a dupe of him in the meantime? Then that'll be the A4. And then if anything else will be wasted, of course, convert it to the Awakening Shop. But yeah, you don't want to waste if you don't have to. So that's kind of my thoughts there with the Soul Stones. They are pretty hard to get. You can get them as rewards in like Guild Boss stuff. But honestly, it's going to be pretty rare to drop these here. You're going to be really relying on getting them from Tide. And speaking of Tide, there is a hero we get, which I already got. <laughs> From doing the hero's path, you are going to get Volca. So you might wonder, well, how do I start getting some more dupes of Volca to improve her awakenings? And luckily, the game does provide that. So Volca actually comes with some bonus duplicate equivalents as well via the rewards in Tide. So as you can see, like 85, I'm, I'm going to get more. Ooh, 85, there's one for the, the epics, epics, epics. Epic, epic one, and boom, a Volca Soul Stone at 105. So that is the Awakening one for Volca, which is going to be quite helpful. And yeah, you could see this is kind of the best place to get what is the equivalent of dupes as well. But hope this was helpful, guys. Um, there's lots to consider when it comes to dealing with the resources in this game. And luckily, there is a pretty good dupe system. So let me know what you think of the duplicate system below. I think they do a good job. You've got improvements to characters. You've got a shop to spend the dupes that are excess in. I think, I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.